this video, I'm going to reveal to you 10 signs that you will be successful one day. Right now, I'm just driving in Richmond. I'm going to go get some cake for my wife because she loves this really special cake that um, is in my friend's uh, cake shop. It's kind of like a dessert shop. So I'm going to go there right now. Hopefully they have some because sometimes they run out. Number 10 on the list is that you are super competitive. So if you're very competitive, like if you're in a competitive sport and you like to win, it motivates you to improve yourself, then that's a really good sign that you're going to be successful because what makes you do is constantly improve yourself to really figure out how you can compete better, how you can beat the game, how you can you know, find somebody's weaknesses in the game or find somebody's strengths and really analyze how to win. You know, same with martial arts, right? It's a competitive sport. You know, you want to analyze what your strengths are, analyze, you know, what's your strategy, what's your tactic, and improve on, on those things that are you're really good at and cover up some uh, your weakness of somehow or, or compensate with them. So when you're thinking like that strategically and in a competitive way, and you're always testing yourself in a competition, then it makes you become better. It makes you become more successful. Number nine on the list is your mind never stops. You're always thinking. Your mind's always creating something. And that's kind of like me, always thinking about how can I improve my business? I'm thinking, okay, what, what can I do to add more value? How can I improve this product? Who do I need to hire? How can I help them become more successful in their job? So I'm always thinking. There's always thoughts and always ideas coming to my mind. And music too, I'm always hearing music in my mind because I'm a musician. So your mind never rests and your mind never stops. And that's a really good sign that you'd be successful because as soon as your mind stops, then you're not really creating anything. So there's two sides of this. If your thoughts, if your mind never stops with negative thoughts, then it's going to actually hurt you. So make sure your mind is always filled with positive thoughts, helping you rather than thoughts that are not gonna help you. Another caveat to this is to Make, take time to actually stop your thoughts intentionally so that you can meditate and let your subconscious thoughts take over rather than your conscious thoughts. Because we have many minds in our body. We have our, our brain mind, we have our heart mind, we have our gut mind, we have our aura mind as well. So there's many minds that actually think. So when I say your mind never stops, don't only think about just your intellectual mind. There's many other minds that are thinking. So when you meditate, learn to use those other hidden minds, or those minds are internal as well. You always want to learn, or you're always learning. Just like me, I was born in the year of the monkey. We are naturally curious, and we want to, you know, open things up to figure out how it works. We want to, like, explore, we want to experience, we want to, like, figure things out. We like problem solving. That's a good sign that you're going to be successful because you always want to learn something, like you see something on a YouTube video and you want to learn and you want to learn how to do it yourself. Or it could be something you're interested in. It could be a language, pick up a new language, pick up new art, martial arts, pick up a new sport or a game, right? There's so many things that we can learn. There's so many things we can absorb from other people, from YouTube, from books, from um, education, from classes, from a mentor, right? So always be learning because if you stop learning, then you stop growing. Number seven on the list is the speed of implementation. This is very important if you want to be successful in business and beat your competition. The speed of how fast you can create a product, implement it, market it, and distribute it to the market is gonna be key because there's so many products coming up. You don't have time to wait on your ass and then you know think about this, think about that before you launch a product. Okay, try not to think too much about it. What does the market want? and how can you create a product that could fit that need. A big problem that some people have is such perfectionists that they second guess their work, they doubt themselves and say, oh, this product, this work of art or this piece of music, maybe it's not good enough. You know, maybe I need to work on this for another month or two months before I release it. No, just make it good enough so that it can be released and then test it out and then improve it along the way. Okay, there's a story that goes like this. There's two companies, one company that made one bike, but it took them a year to design and make this bike. And another company that just made a bike, it sucked when it first came out, but they made a hundred bikes over the year. At the end of the year, who had the better bike? And guess what? 
the company who made a hundred bikes that year improved every time they made a bike, had the better bike because they had trial and error, and they were able to implement faster than everybody else. They were able to launch a product even though it was not the best. They were able to improve it over time. So if you're able to implement an idea and create it into reality, or another way, manifest your ideas into reality faster than everybody else, that's a really good sign that you're successful. Hey, I got more awesome routines for you that can transform your life. But before we get into those, I want to invite you to my special event. It's on chilifemastery.com. I'm gonna share with you how I transform my life with special practices in Qigong and meditation and using technology to help me to become successful. I went from poor to become rich, pressed, to becoming very successful and happy. And I went from being very sick to become very healthy. So I was able to transform myself and I learned many secrets and techniques to do that. So I'm gonna share those with you in the event. So I'll see you there at chilifemastery.com. You value your time. You don't waste time doing things that don't matter. And you don't waste time working on things that don't make you money or don't get you the results that you need. So your time is valuable and you understand the concept that you can always create more money but you can't create more time. Time is the most valuable asset because it cannot be created. You can't go back in time. It's not like back in the future and you can undo things in the past. You have to do things today in the present. So if you understand the concept of time, how important it is, and you value time very highly, more than even money, then it's a good sign that you're gonna be successful. You are hardworking. You are working hard, okay? You are waking up early, you're staying late, you're working late at night, you're working on weekends, all right? This is not a job. If you just think job mentality, you put in your hours and you go home and then you watch TV, that's not a successful mentality. Successful people, not only do they work smart, but they also work hard. So every day you're working hard in your business, okay? Whether it is meeting people, doing meetings, uh, doing presentations, or coming up with ideas or training your team, you're working every day you're doing marketing, you're learning something new, you're making connections. So whatever you do in your business, you are working hard at it. So that means you're not lazy, you're not procrastinating, you're not blaming other people, you take responsibility and you just get the job done. You are incredibly driven. You want to succeed and you're willing to do whatever it takes to succeed. And you don't care what people say, you don't care what the challenges are, you don't care about obstacles, but you are willing to do whatever it takes to get to a higher level, to become better, become stronger, be more successful, make more money. Number three is that you're confident with your ability. So you're able to know what your strengths and your weaknesses are. You know what you're good at, and you're proud of it, and you're confident about it. And you let other people know, so that when people think of something that they need, they'll think of you and know that they can rely on you. That's a really good sign that you're gonna be successful. Oh, I think it's ready. Number two in the list is that you have a growth mindset. You're always thinking about how to grow things. You're always thinking about how to become better, how to improve something, how to look down the road and see where your business wants to be. You're always looking to the future. While staying present, looking to the future, having a vision of where you want the things to go, where you want business to be, where you want yourself to be in the future. So always thinking about growth. Growth of yourself, growth of other people, growth of a company, growth of an idea, of a community. You're always thinking about growth. That's a really good sign that you're gonna be successful. Unfortunately, they didn't have any cake left, so I had to get something else. I got her favorite bubble tea instead. So here it is, the final sign that you're gonna be successful one day is that you're extremely obsessive. You're obsessing over your dream. You could be obsessive over a product or your passion. You're just obsessive about it. You're always thinking about it. You always do something with your whole heart, your whole being, your whole mind, your whole soul is involved in whatever you're doing. It's just super obsessive, not obsessively compulsive, but just obsessive and you just, just can't stop thinking and can't stop doing the things that you love. So that's the number one sign that you're gonna be successful one day. So I'm David Wong. Thanks for watching the David Wong Entrepreneur Show. I'll see you in the next show.